Now, at the nation's constitutional court today took place the 10th hearing in the impeachment trial of President Park Geun-hye. It's the first one to be deliberated by eight judges instead of the usual nine after one of the judges' term expired as of the end of last month. Kim ji reports. The 10th hearing in the impeachment trial of President Park Geun-hye was led by the Constitutional Court's Interim Chief Justice Lee Jung-mi. This is Yi's second time serving in the interim chief position since 2013. I will lead the court with a sense of responsibility and fairness during her case, which is destined to have historic and constitutional significance. Justice Yi's term will expire on March 13th, and until then, eight constitutional court justices, instead of the usual nine, will deliberate on President Buck's fate. If six of the eight justices vote in favor of the impeachment motion, it will be upheld. During the 10th hearing, Kim Gyu Hyun, the chief presidential secretary for foreign affairs and security, addressed the question of the president's whereabouts during the Serho ferry incident in 2014. Kim said he didn't think the president's instructions would have changed had she been at the presidential office instead of her residence, as her lawyers have claimed. In response to questions about President Park's longtime confidant, Choi soon shil Kim denied Choi could have used her ties to the president to influence the creation of documents related to foreign affairs or security. Yoo Min Bong, the former senior presidential secretary for state affairs planning, also attended the hearing. He denied the possibility that Choi could have made drastic modifications to the president's speeches because if there's a policy change, the document needs to be redrafted by the top office through an extensive vetting process. Another witness was Mo Chol Min, Seoul's ambassador to France and former senior presidential secretary for education and culture. He recalled that he was surprised when the president ordered the removal of two culture ministry officials from their posts and calling them by name, saying they lack the will to root out corruption in the sports sector. The hearing for former presidential secretary for public relations, An bong is scheduled to take place on February 14th. Kim ji Arirang News.